Yes, our corrupt leader has made it very obvious how he would handle Donald Trump. Don't forget he said this. We just have to demonstrate that he will not take power um, by, uh, if, we, uh, if he does run, uh, making sure he, uh, under legitimate efforts of uh, our Constitution, does not become the next president again. Congressman Matt Gates uh, joins me now. Sir, good to have you on. Um, your, your thoughts on, on the status quo as it is right now, the idea that they're, they're throwing all of this at Trump and they're saying that Trump's the crazy mobster in this situation. Well, if anyone's guilty of a conspiracy to deprive rights around the 2020 election, I think we've proven it's the FBI. Yeah. Hey, Merrick Garland, the call is coming from inside the House. It wasn't Trump. It was the FBI out there trying to shape the information domain so that people didn't have access to the information about the very real crimes that were being committed by the Biden family. And, and just for a moment, let's take the defense and the facts most favorably to the Bidens. What they're saying is that, well, everyone's engaged in familial influence peddling. This is just how Washington works. You take money from foreigners who want to influence our government and you convert that into policy making for them. And gosh, the reason that's not a crime is because it's so pervasive. So the, the defense that you're a sleazebag, not a crook, doesn't really work too well when you're about to face another presidential contest. And uh, with what we see from Jack Smith, it sure is something that we've just now found out that the third member of his prosecutorial team, a donor to Joe Biden's presidential prospects and other Democrats. Uh, not a lot of Trump donors on the Jack Smith team. They're not even hiding the fact that bias is built in to this double standard they're executing. Yeah, and then the, the idea that they try to pretend like this is how it is in Washington, you're right about that, that uh, there's no way that that's standard issue, that vice presidents and presidents are out there doing favors for foreign leaders for millions of dollars. I mean, I know there's lobbyists in Washington, but it doesn't extend to that point. I don't care. I don't know who they're trying to fool with that. In fact, Pakistan, the former prime minister, we call the Pakistani Trump, Imran Khan, was just sentenced to three years in prison, a populist who tried to take back power from the military in that country, very similar to what we're seeing here with Trump. Meanwhile, Biden's secretary of state, Anthony Blinken, tweeting out the United States strongly condemns Russia's conviction of opposition leader Alexei Navalny on politically motivated charges. The Kremlin cannot silence the truth. Navalny should be released. What a, what a tweet from Blinken. I, I, I mean, what is he thinking putting that out there in this environment right now? Without a hint of irony. And the yeah. sad thing is that this is an effective troll for Vladimir Putin. We've literally put Vladimir Putin in a position to clown us and troll us on the global stage by engaging in this legal tomfoolery against Navalny, when then in turn you see Joe Biden literally putting his uh, principal political opponent uh, in this precarious position with the intersection of criminal law and our politics. And right. like when you've got Joe Biden calling in to Hunter Biden's dinner parties, it, it, it's Joe Biden that's on the menu. He's not just there chatting with these folks. It's a demonstration of a corrupt influence that they have yeah. built their family on, that they've built this presidency on, and that we don't want our government built on. And let's, and let's cut the BS. Joe Biden put himself on the menu. This is not Hunter Biden's <laughs> concoction. He's, uh, Hunter is the, the victim in this, in my opinion. Joe, Joe knows exactly what he's doing. There's no way that Hunter's leading the show and controlling the president of the United States like some kind of pawn, this, this crackhead son of his. All right. Congressman Matt Gates, we appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rob.